Hey guys, Jeff from Beer Cartel here with another live Facebook video. Um, it is the 7th of 7th, 2016, uh, and this video is our Thursday video where I talk about all the latest beers that have arrived in store. Um, I hope you guys have been having a good week. For me, this is my last day of this week because I've got tomorrow off. I'm having a long weekend uh, and I'm heading up north and I've packed myself some good beers. I've got some Pirate Life as well as a, a couple of sort of nightcap beers uh, that I'll enjoy over the next few days. So if you are towards the tail end of your week, um, I hope the last day goes very well for you tomorrow. Um, and uh, yeah, watch this video. Here are a couple of new beers. Uh, we've gotten some new beers from New Zealand. Uh, some of them are just sort of new formats. They'll make their way onto the website in the next day or so. Uh, we've also just gotten a shipment of some Belgian beer from the International Beer Collector. Um, his stuff is always very, very interesting. Some new De Molen beers. Uh, they're not quite ready yet in terms of being online, but they will be uh, for probably maybe tomorrow, if not early next week. So keep an eye out for those. But today, I wanted to go through just a couple of beers, focus mainly on two beers, which are a twist on a, a traditional style that a local Australian brewer makes, um, and that's from Bridge Road. Uh, but before I go into those, I want to talk about the Boat Rocker beers. So I'll just uh, briefly introduce these ones, because I want to really talk and focus on the Bridge Road beers. So this is the Mitte and the Yvonne from Boat Rocker. I've spoken about Boat Rocker before, these guys, um, I highly recommend you keep an eye out for them and do try their stuff. Um, they've had investments from uh, some guys, ex-guys from Little Creatures, um, which means that they've been able to introduce a barrel program. Um, and barrel program is in a barrel aging program. Uh, so keep an eye out for these guys because I think they're gonna do some interesting things as they start releasing more and more of their beers, um, as they age them in barrels um, and then release them to market. Both of these are barrel aged beers. One is a Saison, and the other one from memory is a Berliner Weiss. So you've got a uh, barrel-aged Saison that they've got and a Berliner Weiss. So keep an eye out for those. That's the Mitte and the Yvonne, uh, both reasonably priced from memory. I can't remember the exact figures off the top of my head, but I would highly recommend uh, taking a look at those. So that's the Boat Rocker beers. Like I said, I only wanted to briefly touch base on those and just let you know that we do have those in. But... The feature beers for today. I want to talk to you about um, Bridge Road, Bière de Wild, right? So this is from Ben Kraus at Bridge Road, based in Beechworth. Bit of history about uh, Bridge Road. So Ben Kraus started it in the back of his dad's shed in about 2005. He'd been travelling around the world. I think he did a bit of travels through Germany, got a bit of the bug for um, brewing, uh, and decided to bring that back home. And with his surname Kraus, uh, I'm almost certain he has got some German lineage, uh, and so I'm sure that uh, good beer runs through his veins. This is, so the new beers to us, I had pre-ordered these back in April. Unfortunately, the brewery kind of lost our pre-order, um, and so we're a little bit late in getting these, but these beers are very well worth the wait. It is the Bier de Wild, which is a twist on the Bier de Gare, or Garde, or Garde. So, uh, beer de garde means in French beer of keeping or beer to keep, and traditionally they are um, French farmhouse style, so a bit like saison. Uh, so saison and um, beer de garde um, and, and farmhouse styles were traditionally made, say, spring, winter, and then kept um, for the period over, um, say, into summer. So beer de garde means to keep, so the beer would keep for those few months. Now the the Farmhouse workers, they'd go out in the fields and, and they would like to come back and have a nice quenching drink to quench their thirst after their work. And the farmhouse style kind of meant that they were using locally produced or locally grown ingredients um, or anything they kind of had access to. So you used to get quite a variety of styles when you think about the farm farmhouse style. Some were kind of more blonde, others were kind of a bit more robust. Um, and a bit darker. So your things like your saison, your farm, farmhouse saison, they'll tend to be a bit drier, um, while the farmhouse Bière de Garde will be a bit more robust, darker, and have a bit more sweetness to it. So the kind of base style or the history behind them is very similar in terms of where they come from um, and the region they come from, but they do have uh, like nuances that are slightly different. Right, so the Bière de Garde, or Garde, um, is... Uh, 
Bridge Road do, do one, and it's called their Chevalier Bière de Garde. Um, and they've had that in their range for a number of years. It's in 750 mil bottles. Uh, we've got stock um, of it. Uh, it's under $20, so pretty good value. Uh, you'll get um, some quite interesting kind of spices from it. Uh, about 7.5%, I think. Oh, I should just look at these. 7.6%, uh, so you can imagine that the, the uh, traditional Bière de Garde would be very much the same. Um, you'll get some spices. You'll get some dark fruits um, and quite uh, quite a lot of sort of malt backbone from the Bridge Road Beyond the Gale. Uh And, uh, yeah, you can drink it now. You could probably keep keep it for a little while and then drink it a bit later on. But it is, I highly recommend it. It's a very, very nice beer. And they've taken that base beer and they've then created two new beers. So these beers have been aged in cognac, French cognac barrels. So they got two 500 litre French cognac barrels um, and they uh, basically split a brew, 500 litres here, 500 litres over there, and they pitched it with two Chardonnay yeast. So they teamed up with some um, Chardonnay uh, wine producers that they are um, good friends with um, and decided to get some of their wild yeast strains. Now one is uh, Sorenberg and the other one is the A Roda. A Roda is for Adrian Roda and I'll just refer to my notes so I get this all right. Um, so Adrian Roder has been involved in winemaking since uh, 98 um, and he moved to Beechworth and he actually doesn't have his own wine, uh, vineyard but he gets the fruits from the Smith's vineyard um, and it basically then uh, makes, makes his wines. And so uh, Ben approached them and, and approached him and said, can we do a collaboration, so to speak? And they did it, they pitched it, and it's been matured in those French oak barrels for 12 months, uh, meaning you'll get quite a lot of character. And obviously with the wild yeast strain, it's kind of uh, a bit of an unknown uh, to a certain extent, and you'll get, along with all that base characteristics that I was talking about with the Bière de Gale, you'll also get a lot of the yeast character probably coming out mostly in the aromatics, a little bit in the taste, but probably more so in the aromatics with the malt backbone and the dark fruits coming uh, into the palate. And the other one, which is this one here, so just to show you that one there, so that's the A Rota with Adrian Rota. So that's the wild yeast from uh, some of his Chardonnay. Um, and then the next one is the Sorenberg. Uh, and from, mer uh, from memory, a uh, Sorenberg uh, beer was released probably about 12 months ago by Bridge Road as well. Um, and uh, yeah, used the Sorenberg yeast strain as well. Um, and this one is a wild yeast strain from the, from the guys at Sorenberg. And so Sorenberg, bit of history. Um, it's 2.5 hectare vineyard. It's owned by Barry and Jan Morey, Marie. And it's on the outskirts of Beechworth. So you can see it's a local community kind of feel with, with uh, these three businesses working together to release this beer. Um, and it's interesting. I mean, Beechworth is probably not the place that you would have thought 10 years ago a uh, Australian craft brewery would pop up. But Ben did, uh, he took over the old coach house there in Beechworth. And I haven't actually been there, but I know that Beechworth is now synonymous with Bridge Road. But it's also, you know, it used to be kind of uh, really well known for its honey. Um, and they've gotten established quite a lot of trade there on sort of higher end. So I know that they've got really nice restaurants and people go there and really enjoy a stay in Beechworth uh, and indulge a bit. Um, so they do have a couple of vineyards, uh, brewery and some really nice restaurants. So if you're ever in that area, Beechworth, I would highly recommend um, to go down there. Um, now, the Sorenberg family has got some German uh, heritage as well, and they've been tied with winemaking for 500 years. So you can imagine there's uh, quite a good pedigree there with regards to their um, winemaking. So they took a wild yeast strain from the Sorenberg um, family, or from from their uh, Chardonnay, and uh, they pitched it into the two into one of the 500 litre cognac barrels that I was talking about, uh, and they left it to mature for 12 months. So both of these beers. Uh, we recommend that you buy one of each um, so that you can kind of compare what they'd be like. I would definitely recommend that you could uh, keep these for a little while given they are a wild um, wild yeast strain and a wild beer. 7.6 in their ABV. I think they land just around the $10 mark. Um, we've got a few cases of these available so uh, there's plenty of stock for everyone that's out there. Um, I've still got some of Sorenberg from the previous release that they've done. Um, but yeah, definitely one to look out for and the one that I would highly recommend. So they're the beers for this week. 
There was the couple of beers from Boat Rocker down in Victoria and also Victorian um, just near the border there at Beechworth um, from the guys at Bridge Road. Very, very good brewers. They're kind of guys in Australia that are doing things outside of the norm. So they do have their core range where they're releasing things like pale ales and golden ales and, and IPAs and so forth. But they're also doing things that are barrel aged. Um, so these guys have got some investment to do some barrel aged program and, uh, and Bridge Road over the last couple of years has started doing more um, wild beers. Um, and I think I read somewhere recently that they are investing more um, funds into getting some barrel program uh, of sorts organised at the brewery there. So they're the beers for the week. Um, I'm off after this, but I hope you have a great end of week and whatever you guys are drinking at home or out and about, happy drinking and thanks for tuning in. Cheers.